Hey everybody, Sam here. And Angela, and welcome to our channel. Welcome back to another video from our 1988 Palm Harbor single wide mobile home. Yep, even though a lot of you are starting to point out it's not much of a 1988 mobile home inside anymore. In today's video, we're gonna bring you guys along as we continue to transform this place. We get to reveal Angela's color palette for the home. A lot of design, ooh and ah color stuff. I things guess. that me as a guy, I don't really understand. And we also do, I guess, kind of like a smorgasbord things here and there as we work towards our total eventual goal of getting back into our home. Our bedroom has reached that wonderful point of being ready to be primered. I spent yesterday painting the ceilings in the entire house. The whole house got coated and they look great. Now we can move on to the walls. Before I start rocking and rolling with the paint roller, I need to use some painter's tape and put pieces over top of every single one of the outlets that I've already installed. I don't want to take them out. So just taping over the faces of them will help keep them nice and clean in the event they get bumped by a roller and just make the process smoother and quicker overall. So we'll go ahead and slap some tape on these things and then we'll start rolling. Sam went ahead and did a second coat of the primer in here and it's totally white now. You can't really see any of the mud lines or anything like that. It is ready to paint in here. We have picked our paint. You'll have to see it in a second. And I'm going to go ahead and start trimming it in before we start rolling and stuff. It's something I can do right now. So come along. So we decided to go with a Sherman Williams paint called Sea Salt. Well, the color is called Sea Salt. We are doing it in a satin in the bedroom and I'm excited to see what it looks like on the walls. I like it. I hope I do because we got five gallons worth. Not having the molding up here since we took it down, I have to say, is making this a lot easier to do. We're not having to cut it in or anything, so this should be pretty fast work.
Well, that's it for the top trim. I'm gonna go ahead and go around the doorways just to make it a little bit easier to roll. And then I'm gonna get on the floor. There's no point in video in that because it's just a little bit of scooting around, but I'll let you see it when it's done. First coat of trim is done. We are ready to go ahead and start rolling this booger, get it all done. And I'm really happy with the color. I've always liked this kind of shade of green, but when you're looking at the swatches in store or online or anything like that, you never know how it's gonna look in your room. In the store, it looked a little more gray than green, but in here, it has the nice, calming green effect and i really like that can't wait to see what it looks like when it's all over the walls well i just showed up to the party and i gotta say i tried to be funny like oh gosh the color the first thing out of your mouth was what i can tell you like it yeah i do like it it is very nice color i like that it is green mostly but has kind of a gray hue to it mm -hmm. it's really nice very nice it is, it's kind of both farmhouse-ish color. It's bright, but I guess since the name has something to do with the beach, it also comes to mind. Although I don't like beach decor. No, I don't either. So we'll say farmhouse green. But some of the new colors coming out, kind of coastal beachy, this is kind of one of them. True. I guess when I think of the beach, I think of the early 90s decor, pink, coral, with the seashells yeah, and like what we grew up seeing i guess yeah well i'm over here as the muscle to pour the five gallon bucket into the paint tray because this klutz would have it all over the floor and we paid way too much money to do that you would not <laughs> you're not as bad as you like but hey i appreciate you making use of me and <laughs> giving me a task to do there you go so let's go ahead and pour it in the tray lock and load and let you rock roll it to roll. it yeah roll it Roll it, it, do it. Do it to it. Roll it. I got nothing. <laughs> hey, give me some time to think about it. Hang on. I learned something. These little plugs splatter big time. So I'm going to try covering it largely with a paper towel. Yeah, see, it's still shot off that way at least. Look at not that. on your shoes and not shorts, on. and you're not in painting clothes. I'm not. I'm in show clothes, I guess, right? You're in new shorts. Everything. Look at you being all precise. I grew up watching Bob Ross. I know what's going down. All right, she is all poured up, ready to go. I got the tray set up. And I gotta say, I did pretty good. I didn't get any paint on my clothes and it's awesome. Another thing I really like is like when you paint a room, it's got a really nice like new paint smell. It smells pretty good too. Are you gonna let me do the honors? Yeah. Or you want me to start? Oh, here. Is this good? Not there. It's gonna be weird having color in this room. It's gonna be weird living in this room.
right, I have done one coat and my wrist and elbow is killing me. So I'm gonna let Sam take over, do the second coat, and that should about call it for in here. I'm really loving the color. All right, the second coat is done, and honestly, this room's done paint-wise. It is. That was a lot easier not having to worry about trimming out so much, cutting in the top and bottom molding mm -hmm. around the windows and stuff. Or dripping it on flooring. Mm -hmm. So that made it a lot easier. Cool. Uh, you did say we got five gallons of this? Yes. And apparently another room is destined to be this color. But you guys will probably have to wait and see which room that is. I don't remember at this point. I know it's one of the ones over there, but I don't know which one. <laughs> but for now, we are done working in the bedroom. So, let's see what else we can get into. Welcome back to our living room. In the last video, you got to see us hang the drywall and Angela finish the drywall. So now we get to paint the drywall. First thing first is to primer it with legit drywall primer. Because if you don't do that, this stuff is like a sponge and it will evaporate your paint faster than you can even know what's happening. And at the cost of paint per gallon, you don't want that to happen. We both finished out doing the primer in here yesterday, and again, it brightens it up in here a lot. We are ready to go ahead and start painting. We have chosen, I have chosen, we kind of conferred about it, that most of the living room is going to be the sea salt green, the same as our bedroom, but this wall is going to be the satin snow, which is also a cream color. That way it'll flow and we don't have to worry about putting a line down the middle where the dining room, living room meets, and it just kind of makes it all flow together. So let's go. gotten two coats around the top one coat around the bottom because you don't end up seeing it that much and I'm ready to go ahead and roll the rest of it it's actually going pretty quick maybe I'll even get to do some of the cream today with the sea salt in the living room. That color, hang on, is really cool. I like it. It is kind of gray, but then it's green, and then sometimes it's a little bit blue. It's a very interesting, cool color. It is. I like it. We've been looking for a color like this for a long time. We. <laughs> it's all you. Good or bad, you're getting the credit. Well, I'm glad it's good. <laughs> so why are we now in the kitchen? What are we doing in here? What in the world? We are actually going to be painting the kitchen as well. Sea salt? We have Same color? Not sea salt. I thought about it, but not sea salt. <laughs> okay, I'll hush. This one's actually called Satin Snow. Oh, I've heard that before. 
That's what we did the boys room, the cream color, and then the boys bathroom is satin snow. And that is S-A-T-I-N space S-N-O-W. Not as in I went outside and sat in snow. No. Yeah, way back when we were doing the boys bedroom, I made the funny statement of, ah, I sat in snow. Anytime the boys hear that color in the background, one of them says it. Ah, I sat in snow. <laughs> It's funny. It's one of those things like, wow. It stuck. It did stick and it's, wow. So we are going to be doing that in the dining room in the kitchen and then the front wall that goes into the living room as well. So, Very cool. I it, guess kind of a opposite accent wall. I think it's looked great. It um, is a bright color, but it's not stark white. But it's bright, which is what we like in a home. We like a very bright open home. It's one of those things, if I can give my home decor two cents, I say add your color and decor. If you like the color blue, don't paint your wall blue. Add some blue things to your white wall. <laughs> yes. That's just me though. All right, so our game plan is to get a couple of cups and some brushes, and we're both going to tag team, knock out the trim. There is a ton of trim work, a lot of brush work in the kitchen. So let's just brush it out. Let's go. We're at the point where we have trimmed out the kitchen two maybe three times so I'm ready to go ahead and start rolling I'm not going to be using a big nine inch roller for this I'm going to be using a smaller six inch these are a lot easier to manage in tight spaces like this and in places where honestly there's not that much wall space Angela has already trimmed out the whole living room wall twice and she did most of it here in the kitchen around the ceiling and everything for me so I'm gonna go ahead and start rolling I don't know that I'll do all of it Okay, I know I won't do all of it because it's a lot, but I'm gonna go ahead and do as much as I can, burn up a little more daylight, and just try and continue to press to get this job done. She's gone ahead and taken the boys over to our camper. She's gonna go ahead and probably start dinner, get them kind of chillaxed out. They've been going nonstop with us since about 10 o'clock this morning, and it being about 6.30, they are done. Given they've been playing in the house and kind of doing stuff, they've not had any downtime and we think it's starting to really bug them because they've been acting up. So she took them away and is chillaxing over there, I hope. Hopefully she's relaxing. And I'm going to continue painting and see how far I can get. Well, we uh, have a problem. So when we got this thing out of the box, Angela noticed that it was dented a little bit up top. It wasn't that bad. And it's something that honestly, I was able to kind of work, pull a little bit, do some light taps with a hammer and fixed it. It's back behind, you don't even see it when it's installed. So we went ahead and put this up and installed it and was enjoying it and just kind of geeking out. We went and closed the door and the light stayed on. The light didn't go off, which we're like, is that some kind of a feature with this? I don't know. It's a new microwave. So after messing around a little bit, we discovered that it's broken in multiple places. But most predominantly here, the little latch that's supposed to match this one was broken off inside the actual microwave. I pulled it out with a pair of pliers. I got to looking. It's dented on the inside right here inside the microwave. It has also been pressed and dented here, plus even more dents on the side of the case. So this poor guy got beat up or dropped or something. Either way, Angela just got off the phone with the store and they said, bring it back. We've got more. We'll return it, swap it out, and you guys are good to go. So 
The only thing we're out is about probably two hours with work and round trip, but I guess at least we get to swap it out. So we'll go ahead and take this back out of here, pack it up, and go get another one. Well, we're back from the store, take two. Hopefully this one's good. It looks like it, but honestly, so is the other one. So we will see. Dents on your side? No. Okay, this looks good. Oh, I want the other one. Alright, these are not broken off. That's not dented. That's what was also dented inside. I noticed that after. Okay. Looks alright? Looks alright. Good to go. It looks alright. It's almost like this was almost installed at some point in the recent past. These holes are perfectly lined up. And, uh, is it level? Of course it is. Shiny, it is very shiny. <laughs> what? Wow. Wait, I'm gonna push any buttons. Oh, Install the other part. Hadn't had that in a long time. Well, we have. We just had to screw in the bulb manually. That's so nice. I just want to keep touching it. <laughs> cool. What are you telling? <laughs> yeah. For now. For now. And he's leveled like crazy. <laughs> so this is totally a cart before the horse. It's not time to put the stove in place and plug it up or use it because we haven't put down the floor. But the reason for that is it was in the middle of the dining room. We opened it up to make sure it was not damaged. Thankfully it was not. So we had to put it somewhere anyway. So why not just put it in a spot? So it's gonna sit here for now and we'll get to install it whenever it's time, I guess. Let's just plug it up, but you know. Our home had two original hardwired smoke detectors in here. They were never connected, which is kind of a bummer. It's kind of what you usually will see. Okay, in newer homes, the smoke detectors will be connected. They were never connected to each other. However, we did retain the actual boxes and everything. So I think what I will do next is go ahead and put them up. We have one of our viewers send us two of these hard wire smoke detectors. Thank you. If you look at these, they have a black wire, a white wire, and a red wire. The red one is for communication, which again, we don't have that option. So it comes capped, we're gonna leave it capped. Otherwise, the black and white wire into your regular hot and neutral black and white wires inside your home. These particular ones have their own batteries, so they don't have to be hardwired, but it is cool to have them. Plus, the battery is there in case you have power outage, but yet a fire start. As far as connecting, you just plug this wire into the back. One, two, three, easy peasy, and you're done. And then it's a matter of wiring it up into your junction box and mounting it up there as well. The cool thing with these is they come with their own trim ring, mounting ring, that has knockouts for electrical boxes. This also serves as your plate cover for your box as well. 
So it's a one item that does multi-functions. So the installation is pretty easy. We'll put the trim ring up, pull the home wires through the hole, connect them, fish them all back through into the box, and twist it up to mount it, and it's all closed. So let's go ahead and put one up here in the kitchen first. Okay, that went up really easily. For right now, the house power is off. Our temporary powering solution is unplugged. So I'm gonna plug the house up and we'll see if that thing beeps or gives us any kind of indication to let us know it is no longer running off battery and it is back on the alternating current or home's main power. No indication, but it is at least juiced up and running on battery if it ever needs to as well. Awesome. The next thing I'm going to do in our random list of stuff we're doing to get the house done is reinstall our mini splits. We have the indoor air handler units. Just put one in our bedroom, made sure it went smooth. So now I'll show you guys the process for it here in the dining room. Not that I don't think it'll be smooth, it's just always good to do one off camera if you know what I mean. Angela's outside with the ladder. She's gonna catch the wires and the hoses as I feed them through, route them appropriately, fold them over, and make sure everything stays good out there as I push and lock everything into place in here. We're not connecting the mini splits just yet, but putting up the indoor air handler units and then sealing up the holes is just one more step we can do towards the great process of being back in the house. Pull the wires. Keep pulling, please. There we go. Pull it. I'll tell you when to stop. We ended up painting at all hours of the day, so we wanted to give you a nice, sunny, daytime look at what the walls look like. So here's the living room. We have the nice sea salt green on most of the walls. 
But then when we get to the front wall here, this is all cream, which leads us into our dining room kitchen, which is all the cream color, which is satin snow. And I have to say, it looks really good in here. This is always a look that I've liked, having all white, kind of, for the kitchen. And I guess that's kind of the new fad or whatever. This is kind of a little spoiler. We do have a new oven and microwave, which you guys saw us put in the microwave. I'm tickled to death with these, and I don't know. I can't wait to get to use them. Here is our laundry area and pantry. We have not painted the inside of the closets, pantries yet, but oh well. You'll see that later, I guess, whenever we start putting stuff in them. <laughs> and here's the back door, and just you can see all the light that comes in, and I'm really tickled with how it all looks. And then here is our bedroom, again, in the sea salt green look and it is very kind of warm and I don't know cozy I guess and then here is the lemon chiffonade that we used in the kitchen before and we had a gallon of it so rather than waste it we went ahead and did it in the bathroom in here and it makes it quite perky in here and it almost makes it glow when we have sunlight coming in our top window here. You can almost just see it glow out of the room. We'll see how long it lasts. Not totally sure, but we didn't waste the paint and it's perky. And this is the panel that is going to go as the door right here. It has not been painted yet either, but it'll blend a lot better once it has been painted. As you can see, we haven't done anything with covering this hole yet. We plan on using some of the leftover paneling that we have and paint it to match. It is probably going to have either closet doors on it in the future or a standing unit in front of it, so it's not going to be like a big eyesore. We're going to make it blend in and not have to worry about it looking like a sore thumb or whatever. Well, how do you feel? Accomplished. It may really makes the house feel different, but also gives it that really new feel. It does. A lot of you have commented, we're gonna have a brand new house when we're moved back in. And I think we're pretty much agreeing with you at this point. Pretty much everything will be new. Well, all in all, I have to say that pretty much the whole house has been redone now. There's a couple of panels of drywall in our bathroom and in the dining room area that have not been replaced but otherwise we have replaced everything in this house if we've not replaced it we have repaired it fixed it and made it fine right so yes i guess we kind of have a new home it feels really good having everything painted all the rooms feel great clean bright i really like the colors you picked out they are very clean and bright colors we're both really big fans of bright open spaces and even though this is just a single wide we really like how they have windows on both long walls 
Yes. Every room has multiple windows, which we really enjoy. It lets in a lot of natural light, a lot of sunlight. You can open up the windows and really air the place out. And it's something that honestly, we kind of like about single wides. We don't like the construction or the stigma with them perhaps, no. but otherwise, this kind of floor plan is pretty nice for an open big feeling with a small square footage footprint. Very much so. We may not have an old farmhouse, but we, we have made it our own. And I would say the old farmhouses for the most part don't have as many windows as this does. No, they, they don't. The ones we look at, you know, we like it as we drive by with them. We're like, gosh, there's only like three windows on that house. Well, I think it's going to be it for this smorgasbord video. Hopefully you guys enjoy getting to see Angela's colors, what she picked for the rooms and everything. And even though that bathroom was just using what you had, you really like sunflowers. So I think it's going to turn out to be a very nice bathroom once you have time to decorate it and everything. So I'm not worried about the color. It's a color we liked in the kitchen mm -hmm. and it looks good in the bathroom. We're just used to a lot lighter color. <laughs> So it's a little bit of a wow factor right now. It is. But we don't have shower curtains up. We don't have no. that door panel painted white for the water heater or the mirror. So it'll look better as we go along. And I do have a shower curtain picked out because that is kind of the focal point of the room, you know. Yeah. And But I don't have rugs and stuff like that picked out yet. I'll have to see what I can find. It still feels too far away to think about home decor, at least for me. It I mean, does. we're getting there. This is a huge milestone. Painting the whole house, painting the ceilings. Wow, big difference. If you ever want to feel like your house is filthy and dirty, paint one little square inch of your ceiling and then you'll freak out and paint your whole house. That's what we did. <laughs> but it feels great. I don't know. It's, it's coming together. And you know it feels great too? We can count the number of things we need to do <laughs> on one hand. I thought you were going to say the stove and microwave feels great. Yes, that feels great too. You're right. Okay, things left to do. New floor, which, wait a second, we didn't talk about that. We took up our dining room and kitchen floor. Why did we do that, Angela? You were the proponent behind this. Why? Not totally. Well, I have to say, if we were being smart, we would have gotten some of that really thick craft paper and put down over the floors, but we didn't. Right. And so coming in and out with all the mud and dirt on our shoes and construction debris, construction stuff, the floors got scratched up really bad. Now that wouldn't have been such a big deal, except we were going to have to put down new flooring over at the pantry, back door, laundry room area. Mm -hmm. And you would have been able to tell a big difference between new and old. Yeah. So you made, a, she made a really good point about selling it to me i guess that if we put new floor down here it's going to be a stark difference and you're right there is no getting around that yeah so we do have new flooring for the living room dining room kitchen laundry room pantry and our bedroom that's a lot yes it so is. you get to have that much fun to look forward to seeing us lay it down <laughs> um, hopefully it goes pretty quick, which that will be probably in the next video or the one following. I forget how this will be edited, but just to put that out there for those eagle eye viewers who noticed, wait a second, your kitchen and dining room floor disappeared. That was why. Well guys, thanks for coming along and seeing all the smorgasbord of stuff that we've been doing. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time on The Homestead. See you guys. Bye. Rambo, mobile home part two, 100,000. I was about to say, like, I can do this. farther along than two. Whatever I could see that you know, my barber is not doing her job. Everybody's seen you pick your nose on camera. I'm not picking my nose. <laughs> all right. All right, the paint is all poured. <laughs> Quit it. But this wall behind me, since it now goes straight into the living... I got the flies are everywhere. Ah! <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay, this is totally played up. This will show up on the blooper reel. Alright, hold your breath.
But this it's on won't. Your face. I'm sorry, it's on your face. Right now? No, it's flies. not. It's the cluster flies or whatever it is. I hate them. Okay. I think I did good. I didn't have any paint on my clothes. So that's awesome. <laughs> Come on, I was so close. <laughs> Hang on. It is going to be the satin snow. Really? They're flying in a circle around you. Well, here. <clears throat> Open windows or something. Okay. You can jiggle over there out of sight, okay? Yes. <laughs> Alright, I'm focused, so you step just back a little bit. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we have reached the point of camera not focusing. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and start primering, so, er. Hey, whoa. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> as long as there's no paint on it. <laughs> yeah, that's one of your good shirts. It is. Oh, I just Kinda washed wet. that off. I just got splattered. Well, there it was. It smells pretty good, too. All right, let her go. <laughs> I was trying to hold it in. <laughs> I can hear you. All right. We knew about the paint. It's not intentional. Is it off the big old nose? Or the people schnon. Oh, I can't see. <laughs> I'm here for comic relief. So, I'll go ahead and slap some tape. <laughs> Did it go up your nose? It almost did. <laughs> I just saw it go up. It almost did. It almost went uptown. Okay. <laughs> Our house is open. Windows have no screens. Doors are widely open usually. And there's literally black flies in the house from the field. And they go where they shouldn't go. Okay. See if we can do this without getting flied. Yay! <laughs> Let's go. Oh, These flies are flying around. I know. I, I got felt PTSD I over like, fly attacks. <laughs> it was like on my head, and I'm like. Ooh. It's like they know. They're scared of us now. 